Welcome back to Classic MGB, and now I've got none other than Richard Hammond, an MGB fanatic with me. It turns out, yeah, I meant to be fair. So we're here racing this, which is the smallest Cogs race car. It's actually the last car I drove on Top Gear, and I kept it. Uh, so I thought it was fitting to use it, even though we're using the wrong MGB GT to go racing. Everybody else uses Roadsters because these are heavier. But I kept it because I'd never driven one until I drove it on the show. Really? Genuinely, I'd missed it. And because they're ubiquitous, because they're everywhere, I always thought, well, it's just an MGB GT, and then you drive it. And there's certain cars that do that for me, MX-5, yeah. Porsche Boxster, sure. MGB GT, you think, Bleh. and then you get in and think, oh, this thing, is, it's more than the sum of its parts. Yeah. I love it. So is that the only car from Top Gear that you've actually owned apart from Oliver? Uh, I think it's the only one I've still kept. No, I have a Series 1 Land Rover from about 20 years ago. Yes. Hang on to. Somebody's yeah. getting going. It's noisy in the paddock. It is, yeah. yeah. So how are you doing today? We're all right. We qualified well. Uh, we, were, we were briefly second in class. I think we finished up third in class, 16th overall. Abby Eaton went out racing for us. Young Anthony went out and had a go. She went straight out and took three seconds out of his lap time, but she's a professional. So, yeah, look, all we want to do is, is finish. We haven't actually finished a race yet. Right. And so this um, is it. And um, you don't drive it, though? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm being team boss. I'm enjoying actually running the team and being part of it. It's a different role for me. It makes a change. Absolutely. And, and what's special about an MGB, you know, if you had to, to, to sort of sum it up? Uh, I think sometimes a car is just right for what it sets out to be. And I could think of, weirdly, the Ford Fiesta ST is another one. Yeah. Um, MX-5, definitely. Porsche Boxer. Some cars, they don't blow the world away. But when you're in it and using it, it's just right. It does its job well, and that is one. Richard, thank you so much. Good really pleasure. appreciate your time. Nice to see you. Good luck. Cheers. Enjoy your day. So how about that? A first for Classic MGB, Richard Hammond. Now, if you're interested in his exploits with the MGB GT, he's got a series, Richard Hammond's Workshop. It's on Discovery Plus, and the first two series, I think, are on Quest in the UK. So it's, uh, it's well worth a look, because it's, it's a, a good, entertaining series. As we're here, though, and the car's racing, we thought we'd better see how it went. Well, Richard wanted to finish the race, and they did. It's the first time they finished a race in four. So really well done to them, and I hope they go on to, from strength to strength. Now, if you enjoy our content, it would be great if you'd subscribe, click on the bell for notifications, and of course, share with your friends. As always, thanks for watching, and take care. Yeah.